Hi everyone, this is Catherine. I'm here to do a review for the newly released um, Julio Apunto Slim. This was released in March and then it's designed specifically to fit um, Hobonichi Weeks. So let's get started. Um, overall look wise, um, it's a very slim and tall um, planner and of course with you know, Julio Epoca leathers. I ordered it in gold. This is a color gold. It's the same um, color as my Orang bags and I did a review and I'll put the link down below. And then um, thick strap, when you open it, there is a um, sixth um, card slot and I'm gonna remove everything so that you guys can see it. So I have a big pocket here. Well. It's not, it's the same size, but then it's just a lower one for you to put small things. I have my um, address label, my business card, um, washi samples, and some more business card from the shops I buy from and stuff. And on the side, there is a pocket for um, you to put the memo book of um, a Hobonichi Weeks. Currently, I don't have it here. I just have a receipt for my dry cleans. And then, um, so there's one large pocket, six card slot, one um, lower cut card slots. And then um, there's a insert for you to put your cover of Hobonichi. Currently, I have a, um, this is a cut down of a um, traveler's notebook inserts. And this is a B6 slim height, not the width, but height, B6 slim. So I just put it right here. And then there's two bookmarks. And then on the right hand side, there's also a um, secretarial pocket, which I have a whole bunch of stencils and some um, post-it. There is a zipper pouch, zipper pocket. This zipper pocket is very tight and small. Um, I don't know what you can put in here, but maybe something important, but right now I don't have anything as, you know, if you put anything in here, you're gonna bulk up. So I don't have anything in there. There's also another full length insert. And currently I have this um, ring mechanism plate put in there. So that's that. That's a look. Oh, and there's a elasticated pin loop. At the back, there's a big back pocket. I have a receipt folder where I put all the receipts. Um, I have some bits and pieces. This can this is an A5 size paper, so it does fit an A5 size half. So basically, it's your letter or your A4 size folding half that you can put in there. I have some notes there. I also have my bank information and a $2 bill. So yeah. That's it. Um, it can fit quite a lot. And I also did a video, a blog post regarding what size of um, papers and planners I can fit in here. Um, currently, I have it set up as a, um, this is a personal size um, ring mechanism inserts that I put in there. And this is also a um, personal size width, but B6 slim size tall. Um, traveler's notebook inserts that I put in there as I kind of want to play around with different ways that I can use this planner so that's what I have but let's just put in the um, Hobo Nietzsche Weeks I don't have my 2017 yet as it's on the way but this is a 2016 one that I have um, I have a cover on cover with it but it doesn't fit if you have cover on cover so you kind of need to remove your cover on cover to, um, and you know, once you have this hobo, this insert, you don't really need the plastic cover on cover. So so this is a look of um, when you have your weeks in it. So you still see there's quite a few rooms. Um, this room, you can probably put a big pens. You won't fear to interfere with um, the planners. 
um, Hobo Nature Weeks already come with bookmark. So this bookmark is kind of redundant. I kind of want to cut it off. But um, I'll leave it for now to see what's going on. And um, I tested that you can also put B6 Slim notebook in here. So I was tempted to buy the... Um, I'm not sure what's the name. It's Koyako, whatever. It's a Japanese um, ideal notebook, B6 Slim. That it's a Tomo River paper. I was tempted to... I'm planning to buy that one. Or uh, Midori... MD also have a B6 Slim book and or 7 c have the cafe note. It's all in the same family that you can fit in here. Um, I think you can fit up to 7.5 inch right here height wise. So any notebook and then you can fit up to 4 inch right here. So um, if you're interested, I mean I will leave those notebooks I, na I mentioned down below. And um, also, if you're in the Julio Facebook group page, you will see a lot of people already received this beauty and then they have um, tested out different inserts to put in there. But this is the way I have it set up right now as I'm using a um, personal size. I mean, I, um, I wasn't, I'm not a, a weak user. I used to, but I have changed since then as I went back to the green. But when they released this at the planner con, I just cannot resist myself and I have to get it. So um, I'll probably go back to weeks when it arrives. I will play around with it and see how it goes. Um, but this is what I have so far. And um, I just want to show you guys the comparison with... Um, hold on, let me take this out. It shouldn't be this hard. I don't know why it looks hard on the screen that when I try to do it. I want to do a comparison with um with um Median Campania Slim. This is uh, my friend Helen. She's nice enough to uh, lend this to me to um, comparing with my Apunto Slim. And this is a lotus colored um, Slim Campania medium size. And um, this one, the inside has two secretarial pocket, six credit card slot, one big pocket, one large back pocket, and the rim mechanisms. So this and this is what I put in the slim earlier. It's very similar. And um, so I tried it. I tried to put everything I have in my Apunto Slim into this one and everything fits, okay? So this is a very good one. And um, size-wise, I think this one is a quarter inch um, wider and then one inch shorter compared with Apunto Slim. And this one has built mechanism, of course, because this is a rim planner. And then um, also the stripe size is pretty different too. One is a fat one, one is a skinny one. So this is the look of the comparison with Apunto Slim. Uh, I mean, Campania Slim and Apunto Slim. If you guys are interested and curious on how it looks in person, I mean, size-wise. And then if you don't have a Slim, I also have others that, um, let me see. Is a um, Campania pocket that I have, and I purchased this from Helen. So this one is, um, I feel like this is a little smaller, narrower maybe. And then it's significantly um, taller. So if I put the Apunto Slim and then I put a pocket. So then you get an idea of how it looks like that. Okay. And of course, I have my inserts in this one right now, so it'll look a little wider, but you get the gist of it. And let's compare with um, medium Campania. This is my medium Campania in rust color. And then medium Campania is, of course, is wider. I will say that it's about half inch wider. And then it's about half inch shorter 
But if you look at the spine, it's a lot fatter because there's a 25 inch, uh, 25 millimeter mechanism in there. So, yeah. Let's put the Aponto Slim and the Pocket. See the difference? Okay, so um, I hope this gives you guys an idea of um, this planner. I mean, I love it. This has a very pebbly leathers. I really like pebble leathers. And then I know that um, the gold will patina very nicely. Um, I should do an updated video regarding for my um, gold all-round bags. And then for you guys to see how it has aged after a couple months of um, use. You know what? Let me go get it right now. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. So this is my gold all-round bags. And um, I have this bag for about since last July. And since then, I have been using it on a daily basis. When I say daily basis, it's not Monday to Sunday. It's Monday to Friday. Whenever I go to work or Monday to Saturday, if I need to work on Saturday. So look the color comparisons. I mean, the when I'm looking at the viewfinder, the color is pretty true to color. But you can see that this bag, I got it in last July, and I have been using it every single day. Um, it gone through the rain, with sun, with everything. I left it in the car, and uh, it's fine. And I really like how this bag age. And that's why I jump on it when I see the gold um, apuntos available. As you know, I really like how this planner has turned... I mean, this bag has turned in a um, couple months, last, last July till now. So it's almost, it's nine months maybe. And then um, I have been using it and I got a lot of compliment for this bags. I love it. I really do. So I can see my um, Apunto turn into this beautiful, nicely patina with a use as well. So yeah um that's all i have for you guys and thank you for watching if you have any questions please feel free to leave down below